it's Graham here at Crash John, and today I'm going to take you through some options on the Microsoft Teams Room systems on Windows that can do guest join access. And what do I mean by this? Well, guest join access allows you to join a WebEx or a Zoom meeting directly from your Microsoft Teams Room system on Windows. Just remember, there's two platforms, Windows and Android. This only applies to Windows. It's not yet available on Android. So I'll show you some of the features you can do, um, but also what I'll take you through as well is the Crestron bring your own device. So in our advanced kits, how do we do other platforms so that are not Zoom, they're not uh, WebEx? How do we do those other platforms? Go to meeting, Hangouts, Pexup, whatever it might be. Just remember, with a Crestron Advanced Flex system, we can do bring your own device. And I'll show you how easy that is to do with our platform. So stay tuned and check out the video. Thanks for watching. First up, I have my room scheduling panel. So this is usually placed outside the room. And I can see here from the light bar at the side that the room is booked out. Now I could have a choice to pair it with the uh, occupancy sensor so it could detect that I'm in the room or I could have a manual check-in so when I come to the room I have to physically check in so I reserve the room. There are options you can configure and again this is available in a 7 inch or in a 10 inch panel as well. What I've got here is a couple of different devices so we have the uh, Mercury Mini uh, in a Microsoft Teams room configuration. I then have the standard Mercury, the M50Z, in a Zoom room configuration, uh, but also invited to a Zoom, uh, Microsoft Teams meeting. And we'll show you that in drop in a second. And then we have the uh, C100 just here, so the new 1070 touch panel, and I've also got this paired with my uh, Logitech Meetup. So then we have the MX50. So this is the uh, Mercury X tabletop with cables coming out the front for our connectivity and when I mean connectivity I mean content sharing but also bring your own device on these systems is the ability to have a Microsoft Teams meeting, a Zoom meeting and a WebEx meeting. So on the native Microsoft Teams rooms we can do what we call guest join access. So that's the uh, Zoom and WebEx interoperability where I can just simply invite the room and have a join button. So I don't need to bring my device to the room. I could just walk in, simply tap join, and we'll do that in a second. Now also what we have up here is our front room displays. So we have a single uh, display there and we have the second display here. So in, in essence, this is a dual screen setup front of room with the Mercury in the center of room. Let's walk into the room and we can simply join the meeting. And I'll just go on mute. So that's how simple it is to walk in the room. I've got some friends in the room already and what you can see is the display. So I've got a room uh, here underneath that's actually just another system there. I have my uh, B30 set up there in my lounge and I have myself up here on my desktop as well. So that's a Teams client. So a mixture of clients. So again in other rooms I simply tap to join. And based on your lobby settings you'll be asked to enter the lobby. So again from here Again, this is one feature you get on the native Microsoft Teams rooms is the, ability, <laughs> is the ability to fully admit people through the lobby. And what we'll do here is join with the Mini 2. And guess what? We'll also join with a Zoom room as well. And we'll show you how that interop works. So we simply come back here and we can admit all. So now we can see everyone on the screen. So again, we get this nice large layout. Now what you'll notice is on the second screen, there is nothing at the moment. So what does that mean? So that means that second screen is reserved for content. And I have this button here where I can swap the screens around. So again, I can hit that button and we then transfer the meeting to the maybe the bigger screen or an interactive screen, depending on what you have uh, at the front of room. So we'll leave that over there for now. What we'll do now is connect up my laptop so as if I want to content share is I can take the cable for content sharing and plug this into my laptop. So that's actually me just joining with the Zoom room. The Zoom room is now in a Microsoft Teams meeting and if we come up here you can see 
the M50Z. And that's actually using my AvaCam 520 Pro, um, which uh, is a great camera for those large meeting rooms. So actually, technically, it's an M70 in this uh, configuration. I have my laptop here. Let's open that up. And I've got my presentation ready, but I want to share. So I could either share with my Teams client and join the meeting um, without audio and video. Um, but, hey, I like to like uh, have a physical cable, and I can plug this into the device. What will happen now? That will now uh, synchronize on the display. Let's go up here. You can now see my presentation is on the second screen. Now, if I advance my slides, transmitted across there. But you might think, well, what about the other systems? So. Don't worry about that. What I've got here is my little KVM. So I will change the input. Let's go to the Zoom room. So what does the Zoom room see when you're sharing content? Of course, they see everything. That is the Microsoft Teams guest join access to a browser. So that's all very nice and neat. And what about on my C100, for example? Again, native Microsoft Teams, we see everything on a single screen. So let's just jump back to the uh, MX50. So again, we see your video. So that's how simple it is to walk in, present and share content. So that's during a meeting. So let's terminate this call. Next up, we have the guest join access for Zoom. So as a user, all I need to do, walk into the room or forward the invite to the room and hit the join button. So now you'll see it's trying to join the Zoom meeting. You've just had a little beep there to say that um, the user uh, is in the lobby. So what I have over here on my desktop is obviously the Zoom meeting. And I've already got one system, uh, the, the B30 in the, in the lounge. So I can admit now this room into the lobby. So that now goes through. So there you can now see me in the call. And again, we can do some other systems. So we'll invite the Mercury Mini. And we'll invite the... C100, and again, we can admit all to the lobby. We can then join in with the Zoom room too. So this is all native. So as you can see, I'm hitting the lobby uh, with that standard Zoom configuration. So there we have everyone connected now. So we have the Zoom room, the front of room display, um, so now on this it is showing the active speaker. So if I unmute someone else, let's say the Mercury Mini, as you can see, that changes the active speaker now. So that's what the guest join access experience is in uh, Zoom. So that is, let's say, one of the features. And then also on the second screen, that is empty. Now, if I share content from my Zoom client, so here I am on Zoom, and I want to share my screen. And let's just share this web page. Now, on the front of room display, that is shown on the same display. So again, the second screen is left empty because it can't process anything on that second screen today. So if you have two front of room displays, that one is left empty. So we can see our content and we can see our people in the top corner there as well. So we can see video and the content share. So that's okay. Uh, we're receiving this content share as a, a remote participant. As you'd expect, uh, we can see that. Now, if we stop that sharing, and this again, this is just one of the limitations of guest join access is I've got my cable now that I want to use and maybe share into that meeting. So as soon as I plug this in, up the top here, you'll get a little notification about what uh, is going to happen. There we go. To share content, you must use the share.zoom.us. That's because guest join access does not support physical content sharing. Other things like chat, for example, um, you will see that on the display. So if someone was to chat and send a message uh, during the session, you will see a notification here. Um, you'll see who the message is and from and what it says, um, but not really much way to interact. There is this feature on the touch panel where I can bring the content over here. So again, if you need to do any extra authentication, you can do that, but you can then control the content. It's one way of seeing things, what someone has mentioned, return that back to the front of room display. So what that's actually doing is duplicating it, so putting it on the front of room and on the middle of the room. So again, I can just toggle that off. So we go back to our normal 
just meeting information and then video on the front of room display. So that's guest join access for Zoom and uh, that's one way to have a simple interoperability with native Microsoft Teams rooms. So now let's switch to WebEx. So again, this is the guest join access that's built into Microsoft Teams rooms. So I simply press the join button to join my WebEx meeting. The one thing to note about WebEx guest join is that the meeting must be started, otherwise it will just time out. So uh, make sure that is all set up. And again, let's bring in some other systems as well. Let's bring in the Mercury Mini as well. So again, you can see what's happening on the, on the display and uh, you can toggle that here. And so we go up to the front of the room and we can see we're in a call and we can see we have other people. So again, main view is active speaker and whoever speaks will obviously be the full screen. Uh, so I have my WebEx client. Uh, so again, down here you'll notice front of the room display, second display is empty. So that's the standard for guest join access. It's only supporting the single screen. So these are all in the call now. Uh, so I've got things like um, being able to stop my camera, stop my uh, microphone, my volume control, but also at Crestron we have room control. So I can still control my local camera, so the far end can see that, so I can turn on the auto framing, whether that's the, the uh, Huddly IQ or the AvaCam 520 Pro, look at any presets. So again, all these native features that we have on Crestron are available in the guest join as well. So here I have my laptop, again with uh, the WebEx meeting running, and again if I take my uh, content sharing cable from this uh, Microsoft Teams room and if we put this up here on the screen there's slightly different messaging here on the WebEx side of things but it does say you know you must use your personal device to share content so that will display up on the top of the screen there you go to share content use your personal device so physical cable content sharing isn't available and again if we do things like um, some chat messaging in the bottom corner, you can see that Graham says hi. So you can see actually the messaging coming through, but again, very hard to interact with it, for example, on the guest join. And when you're on the front of room, you could also utilize the toggle feature and control that from here, see who it is, but not the simplest, uh, but it's an option that you can actually see who said what and maybe make a note of a, a short URL or something. And then just simply toggle back and you've got your standard meeting layout again. So a couple of options there to see what's happening um, with guest join access. You are included in the meeting, you've got voice video and you're receiving content. But just remember that second display is empty and no physical cable connection. So that's guest join access for WebEx, very similar to Zoom. Uh, the only difference is that the WebEx meeting must be started and then you're good to go. Now, let's talk about guest join access if you don't have one of these uh, Zoom or WebEx, what do we do? Well, that's where the Crestron uh, MX and very soon the BX, CX and MMX products, so what we call our advanced range of products, have the ability for BYOD. So you've noticed down here, I have got two cables uh, connected here. So on the uh, Mercury series, it's using two cables. On the new forthcoming systems, it will just use a single USB-C cable and you'll get a, a message here. So let's just end these meetings. Let's take you to this meeting in a native mode. Let's just say that you wanted to be able to join this meeting but not use the OneTouch Join. You want to bring your laptop in because you may want to share a lot of chat and you want to share content, for example. All we need to do on our device, take this cable and plug that in to the USB port. Now, watch what happens to the Mercury. So on the display, the speakers and camera are initializing. So this is now moving over the peripherals, so the microphone, speakers, and the Huddly IQ camera to my laptop. That means I can then utilize the system in a BYOD mode. I've got my content cable plugged in as well, so we're seeing my laptop across both screens. Now let's say I want to join that Zoom meeting. So I simply open up Zoom, so we can actually see it here nicely. You can see I've got some interesting things tonight. What I can do, join a new meeting. I can start that meeting. So you'll see myself here. So this is now using my embedded camera. But what I can do is the join my audio. And here in the bottom corner of your uh, Zoom client, you can choose your video. So I want to use the Huddy IQ, which is part of the room system. So I simply select that, and there you go, we're using there. And again, you can ensure you're using the uh, Crestron Mercury, your audio device for inbound and outbound audio. So now we're using BYOD. Now, the clever thing here is we're across both screens. So again, if you are sharing content, so if we go to share screen, 
uh, in this environment and let's pick our PowerPoint. Within this native BYOD experience, we are sharing our presentation across both screens. We're making new slides of two screens with this Crestron BYOD solution. So it may not be a Zoom room. Uh, you may not have a Zoom meeting, um, but that's just one example here with Zoom. Uh, makes it you know much more easier to see if you're in a large room. You're not all constrained to a single window. What about if you have a Pexit meeting? Again, you can join through your browser with here. Uh, it will use both screens. So again, using both screens in a third party meeting. So then we can sit around the room and social distance and use the audio uh, from the Mercury. You are the only participant in the conference. And then also use video from the Hudley IQ camera. So again, up there we have the Hudley IQ, using, utilizing the room, and we've got full dual display. And if you notice here, we still have our Teams meeting in the background, and we can join afterwards, but we can't actually join anything, so we protect that, and we don't uh, log it out or anything. So as soon as a user is finished, they just simply disconnect their cable, and then the system jumps back straight away to the Teams meeting room environment. And I'm ready now to do my call. So very, very simple to do your guest join access either natively within the Microsoft Teams room or within a Zoom room. Um, or <clears throat> with Crestron BYOD, take a simple cable and plug it in. Nothing resets. And also we get dual screen functionality with Crestron BYOD solutions uh, when utilizing native Microsoft Teams or very soon Zoom rooms as well. Any questions, feel free to ask me and it's uh, very nice to have you listen to me today. Thanks very much.